and sits on the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, so, Congressman, when you hear um, your colleagues, Congressman Matt Gates and Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene, going out to Arizona, where Kyung just filed that report, perpetuating those election lies, uh, how do you convince, fundamentally at this point, how do you convince people that you are telling the truth? Because you've got a Democrat in front of your name, right? And we're talking about a lot of Republicans. How do you convince them that you are telling the truth, that their leadership is lying to them? Yeah, I mean, we continue to try to do that by, again, reminding them that Donald Trump's chief election security officer responsible for the security of all the elections in this country said this was the most secure election in American history. These states have certified the election results. They're led by Republicans. They've certified them on multiple occasions. But what we really need is our, our Republican colleagues to speak up. It's time for them to acknowledge that this is a lie. This was promoted by the president even before the election happened and continues to be promoted by the president. It led to the bloody, violent insurrection on January 6th. But we need Republicans to acknowledge that Joe Biden is the president of the United States. He won the election fair and square. They need to hear from people uh, in the Republican Party. And instead, we have people like Matt Gates and other Republicans that continue to give life to this preposterous lie that the sore loser Donald Trump continues to repeat. So what do you think accounts, Congressman, for the fact that we're now seeing in Arizona the board, right, the, the elections board, right, they're standing up. It's five, uh, five, five members, four of them Republican. I spoke to one of them. He's speaking out now saying, I, I, I'm going to do what Trump is saying is unhinged and I'm now going to speak out. I hoped this would go away. It's not, so I'm now going to do this. And they're doing it, right? And we're seeing it in other states, uh, some local Republicans speaking out, right, whether it be in Georgia or in uh, Pennsylvania, right? But we're not seeing it at the national level. I mean, with the exception of, say, Liz Cheney and a few, right, Adam Kinzinger, we're just right. not seeing it. So why do you think that is, that there is, is such a dearth of courage to tell the truth by people who are in your seat with an R in front of their name? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the sad reality is these are people who believe that in order to win a Republican primary, they need to have the support of Donald Trump, and they're terrified uh, to lose his support because they think uh, that they'll lose their primary. And so they're basically willing to forsake their responsibility to protect our democracy, to speak the truth in order to hold on to their jobs. And it's shameful. And we need more Republicans to speak up and tell the truth. And frankly, while I'm grateful for the Republicans that are now doing it, it's a little late. I mean, I suppose it's better late than never. But, you know, their silence and their supporting this claim led to five deaths, lots of destruction to a building, 140 Capitol Police officers injured, mm -hmm. and an attack on our democracy on January 6th. So this lie keeps being promoted not only by the former president, by, but Republican you know, colleagues in the Congress who give it legitimacy when they know it is not true. So, it is a lie, but you repeat it often enough and people believe it. So uh, this week I spoke to one of the Republicans who voted in favor of the commission for January 6th, uh, Republican Car uh, Congressman Carlos Jimenez, your colleague from Florida. So he voted for it. He was one of 35, okay? Trump's out to get him now. But, but he also voted not to certify on January 6th, and specifically because of two states, Arizona and Pennsylvania, which he said, well, I always said Biden was a legitimate winner. Those two states wouldn't have overturned it. But he stands by that vote on that day, and here's how he explained it. I have no regrets of my votes on, on that day. I voted not to impeach the president because I didn't think he had cited the, uh, the events that happened. I know for a fact that uh, I saw people in my hotel room that were saying they were going to do something at 2 o'clock, and that happened at 9 o'clock in the morning. So today's aide told our Jim Acosta that they did alert the Capitol Police as well as the FBI about that incident. Uh, an hour after it happened, 10 a.m. on January 6th. Uh, are you surprised by the congressman's comments and by someone's ability to stand by not certifying the election at the same time they say they want a commission, they do support the commission against McCarthy and Trump yeah. into that day? I, I hope it's because they recognize that it's important that the American people know all the facts that led up to the events of January 6th, uh, that... Uh, that it's important that it be a bipartisan vote. We had 36 Republicans join us 
Uh, the American people are entitled to know all of the circumstances surrounding the bloodiest attack on our democracy since uh, the War of 1812 or on the Capitol. And so I think it's good that he did. I think that's a, you know, Liz Cheney, of course, when she spoke the truth, she was removed from her leadership of the party. But I think she and Adam Kinzinger and others are causing uh, some other Republicans to recognize that they need to speak up and put an end to this monstrous lie, which is undermining our democracy. By the way, while they're doing all this, we're busy passing the American Rescue Plan. We're working on the American Jobs Plan. We're responding to the urgent needs of the American people. But they're a mess, the Republican Party. But they're doing real damage to our democracy by promoting and advancing the ongoing lies uh, uh, that, that Donald Trump began. All right. Well, Congressman, I appreciate your time, as always. Thank you. My pleasure. And next, breaking news.